Welcome back, folks, and we are back on Crab Orchard during the spawn. Folks, this lake is a great place to take your kids, but not only your kids, but your friends, your family, because at the end of the day, you're going to catch a lot of fish, and uh, it's just a great fishery. Federally owned, you don't have to worry about the ramps being closed. It is open year-round, and guess what, folks? The limit is, well, there is no limit. No limit on size and no limit on quantity. Bringing it home, big fish hey, going folks, in the I'm boat. Back on Crab Orchard. Back out here on Crab Orchard with my cousin Steve. Here, hold on. Here you go, Steve. Hello. We're throwing a float. That's what's on the agenda for the day. A Kamel slip float. A 30-second slasher head. Number seven split shot on a six-pound high-vis line. So check out Steve going to town. So being out here at Crab Orchard, we're going to catch a lot of small fish. We've got some decent ones in there now, so I'll show you guys those a little later, but hopefully we'll catch some during this episode. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe. Here we go. All the way out here. So this is kind of a, a standard fish you're going to catch at Crab Orchard. You're going to catch a lot of these fish, and it's because they've kind of stunted their growth by having so many crappies. So there is, it is an unlimited quantity at Crab Orchard. It's also an unlimited size. So technically, yes, you could keep this fish. And I encourage everybody to keep every single fish that they catch at Crab Orchard, because let me tell you, there's just, there's just a ton of them. So. And so it's a great lake to bring your children to because uh, you're going to catch fish. Obviously, I, I brought mine. I got Steve here. <laughs> but no, he, it's, a, it's a great lake. It's a lot of fun, but it is a catch maybe 10, 12 fish before you get one that's worth even thinking about keeping. But again, I encourage everybody to keep every fish because it's, it's a problem at Crab Orchard where they have so many, it's, it's literally stunted their growth. So all we're doing today is we are uh, casting up against it. They have a kind of a weird weed edge. It's kind of like splotches here, there, uh, but we're just trying to stay outside of that weed edge. I think there's, it's been a really cold morning, to be honest with you, roughly around 37 degrees, 38 degrees. So maybe that's pushed the fish out just a little bit. So we're catching them off of the weed edge, I don't know, 20, 25 feet away from it. But you can obviously cast right up to the weed edge, catch them. We're looking for structure. That's that's what's on the agenda and what we've been doing. fish for crab orchard they get bigger but that's still a good solid fish with eggs there we go. <laughs> just a tie folks hey just to remind everybody we are still doing guide trips that's a good fatty right there. Guy trips, three pound fishing at gmail.com. Give me a holler. I'm gonna catch some big fish. Not on Crab Orchard. We don't guide on Crab Orchard, but Lake of Egypt, Kincaid, we're in Lake. That's good. People have been asking me about my setup, even though I've done a thousand videos on it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you again. Gray. Pro Series uh, Ozark rod, 10 footer. I do everything with this rod right here. Um, what I like about it, it's kind of like mid range. It's got good backbone. It can lift any of the biggest fish in the boat. Lifted my three pound fish in the boat, in fact. Um, I can do everything. I cast with it, I jig with it, flip with it. It doesn't matter. Now, the reel I use is the Fluger. I got these at Grizzly Jig. Best reel by far that I've ever used. Um, it's the President. 
and it's the smaller version. I think there's a larger version, this is the smaller version. No problem casting as long as I want, holds as much line on there as you could possibly ever want. And so that's my big setup, you know, with a 10 foot pole, the Fluger reel, and I already went through the six pound line. High vis always for me, everybody has their preference there, but um, I feel comfortable with a 10 footer. Um, I know that some people like, like Steve right now, looks like he's casting with a seven footer. So it's just preference, 10 footer for me all day though. Crab Orch is going to give off good fish, and that's a solid 13 inch fatty right there. Awesome fish right there. Let's hope you're getting a big one this, this next time you go in. too hard that first time. Bing! You can see the lay downs. Then there's a weed edge. You might not be able to see the weed edge, but the weed edge is right there. You can marry that up with a lay down. They can't resist it. They're going to be there. Feels kind of good. Oh yeah, this is a better fish. What's interesting about crab is we, I mean, we just caught probably about ten in there and bluegill, and then all of a sudden you get a good one. So it's worth all whites too, man. That's a solid fish. Probably a twelve inch. Wow, bam. We're slowly but surely putting a good mess of fish together. And again, no limit on size, quantity, it doesn't matter. So, it's a good day. It's, it's definitely gotten warmer, which is nice. A lot of fun to watch the float go down. Brings you back to your childhood. Oh. <laughs> so again, we're on Crab Orchard today, and uh, this water is slightly stained. Uh, if you don't know much about Crab Orchard, it's, got, it's about 6,900 acres. I believe it was uh, dammed up in the 1930s. Great lake. A lot of fish attractors, 
it's a federally owned lake, so it's not, if the state lakes are closed, this guy's open. Bottom line is it's known for you catching a ton of fish. Unfortunately, it's probably known for smaller fish, but as we've proven today, there's a lot of big fish here. Um, on their piles, their stake beds, a lot of big fish. So don't pass it up. See where we're fishing right now. Big old tree and more trees down. And all we're doing is fishing right, fishing right between them. That's all it is. With a float, only about a foot to 18 inches down. Thanks for joining me today, folks. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe. The spawn continue. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.